again, count round to a guide and outreach worker based at the Red House Glass Cone. Let's have another bit of glass. Today I want to tell you about the pots. The, the clay that was found in the eddy was one of the reasons that the Stourbridge glassmaker stayed in Stourbridge to make glass. The fine, fine blue mall clay meant that there were no impurities, so the integrity of the pot remained for much longer. The pots used to be open crucibles, like a saucepan, without a handle. When they built a factory and a chimney, they needed to cover in the top of the pot and fashion an opening where they could take the gathers of glass. Before they covered in the top of the pot, however, they put inside a ring of clay, an annulus of clay. This annulus of clay had got an important function. When the pot was charged with all of the ingredients and it was brought to a rolling boil around about 1800 degrees Celsius to ensure that uh, everything was homogeneously mixed and all the oxygen was expelled, this annulus of glass would float to the surface and its function was to push to the outside of the, uh, the surface any impurities that might be left in the ingredients that would boil to the surface. A bit like the foam or the scum on the top of your potato uh, saucepan when you boil your potatoes. It would push all that scum or impurities to one side and when you took a gather of glass, the servitor would take his gather on the gathering iron or the blowing iron from the centre of the annulus. Of course, as the week went on and more and more gathers of glass were taken from the pot, the impurities were concentrated, concentrated in what was left at the bottom of the pot and it became known as tail glass or end of day glass. This was very useful. It wasn't just discarded. At the end of the week, the young apprentices were allowed to take small gathers of this impure glass to practice the art of glass making. And that's what they used to do. They would take gathers of tail glass and make friggers. That's another word. We'll have a look at friggers next time. See you again.